Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file. It's a SVG file. It was actually locked, but inside Corel, I was able to unlock it. <clears throat> and it, it's almost ready to go. It's a little bit fuzzy, so that's going to trace good, but Corel does not trace fonts worth the flip. And the flower is going to trace perfectly. And I've already done it, tested it out. So I'm going to grab that. I'm, going to, I'm not going to convert it to a bitmap. I'm not going to resize it. I'm just going to outline trace clip art. And it's going to do it that fast. And said, so, okay, your copy, your good vector copy will normally be on top. I always still take a yellow box, create a yellow box, go to the order back of page just to make sure there's no white in there because I don't know anything about this logo. And then, I mean, it is ready to go with the exception of this font. Now, if you it traced it where it's kind of hard to tell what it is, but it looks like Times New Roman. So in all capital letters, type that out go up to Arial or change it to New Times Roman. Now here's kind of the key. If we ungroup this file, we can pick a letter and find out it is 4.44 4 inches tall, the font is, and they're all, all about the same. So we're gonna, with our ratio lock, we're gonna type in 0.44. Now we're not finished yet. Put it about right there and grab your shape tool and hit this kerning and kern it out. Now it's it's not perfect. Uh, so if you can ask the young lady what font she used, you'd be better off or we can manipulate this font. And I might even uh, show you how you could make that P because it's really, we're really close. Uh, the T is a little bit different maybe, you know, but it's a, you know, after it's, uh, well, it is, it's in that like way. So you might even, you know, if you can't find out what font it is, you might just search it. Now what I'm gonna do is zoom in here and I think it's good to go, but if we will take all this font, whoop, and grab this font and make it yellow, and then we can take this other font and put it right on top. And then I would look at it close and we're not quite there. I would set my nudge factor to something low like 0 0.01 and I would move my font up. Now you can see the O is a little bit off so we can take our shape tool and grab that right there and nudge it over. And that's probably to do that we don't have the correct font. But if, you're, if she's gonna allow you to use this font, this is gonna kind of space it out. And it is not the same font because the G's even off. But and it all depends on how big, if what you're making is gonna, I think he's gonna, he's gonna carve it out of acrylic. So this is, I know nothing about that. Now let's set our nudge factor on one inch. And let's grab our font and move it out. Whoop, move it down. And then we can select all this and delete it and move this font back and you're done. Now, the only thing I would suggest, and I know nothing about V-Carve, there's a few hiccups here, a few hiccups here. I would maybe delete that node, make it a little rounder. I would maybe look at the this and figure out what to do here. Uh, the best thing on that would be to left click, right click, and do this right here. See, there's actually a little bitty, it's a, it's a, it's a double line, it's a, uh, there we go, that kind of fixed that. I just, I don't know anything about V-carve or carving with, you know, a router bit on how and, you know, maybe you'll know more about it by then, but, um, you know, just like on the eye, you know, the, the top of the eye is a little, just delete that node and make it a little bit rounder. 
And then just kind of look it all over to make sure it's good. And then just take that one back and right click. Now, <clears throat> I don't know how a CNC router works, but I think it has to do with maybe line. So you could do the whole thing like that, make it into a hairline. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.